Imagine raising $150 million for a revolutionary project and watching a hacker drain a third of it in real time. Well, that's what happened in June 2016 with the DAO, a decentralized venture fund built on Ethereum. The DAO was one of the first big experiments in decentralized governance. Investors from around the world sent ETH to buy DAO tokens, giving them voting rights on projects to fund. It was hyped as the future of business, code replacing traditional boards and executives. But the code had a flaw. On June 17th, a hacker exploited a recursive call bug, siphoning off 3.6 million ETH ETH worth around $60 million at the time into a child DAO they controlled. Panic set in. Ethereum was still new and this attack threatened its entire credibility. The community debated. Do nothing and let code is law stand? Intervene by changing the blockchain to restore the stolen funds? In the end, a controversial hard fork was executed, returning the funds to investors. But not everyone agreed. Those opposed to altering the chain kept running the original hacked version. That chain became Ethereum. Classic. Fast forward to today, ETH is the second largest cryptocurrency powering DeFi, NFTs, and more. Ethereum Classic still exists, a reminder of the split. So, was the hard fork a necessary rescue or the first betrayal of blockchain's immutability promise? Let us know what you think in the comments.